When Google Glass was first announced in 2012, it generated a lot of buzz. The concept of having a computer in your glasses that could provide real-time information and augmented reality was something straight out of science fiction. It's insane. Despite all the hype, Google Glasses ultimately failed to catch on with consumers. Continue watching this video as we take a closer look at what Google Glass was, what made it unique, and what led to its downfall. In mid-2011, Google X, the innovative wing of Google, began working on Google Glass, and after countless trials, demonstrations, and teasers, the wait was finally over. In April 2013, Google Glass became available for purchase, sparking excitement and curiosity across the globe. Unfortunately, the hype was short-lived, and the product received immediate backlash from consumers. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it is important to understand what the product was all about. Google Glass was a wearable computer that looked like a pair of glasses. It could display information in heads-up display, HUD format, allow users to take 5 megapixel pictures, record 720p HD videos, and access the internet through voice commands. In addition to this, there was the presence of a touchpad at the side of the glass that allowed users to navigate through a timeline-like interface displayed on the screen, giving them an easy and intuitive way of accessing the information they needed. But that's not all. The device could also run third-party apps, including games and social media. Now, one of the key features that set Google Glass apart from other wearable devices was its ability to provide augmented reality experiences. For those who don't know, augmented reality is the blending of digital information and the physical world, creating an interactive experience that enhances the user's environment. For example, Google Glass could display flight status information to users upon entering an airport. Now at this point you might be asking, what went wrong? Why did a product with so much potential fail? Well. There were several reasons, but one of the major ones was the high price tag. When Google Glass was first released, it was priced at $1,500. This high cost meant that the device was not accessible to the average consumer. This limited its potential user base and ultimately hindered its success. Another reason why Google Glass failed was its design. The device itself was innovative, but it was not exactly fashionable. Its appearance drew attention, which often led to awkward social interactions and negative reactions from others. Last year, TechCrunch writer Kyle Russell made headlines when he was on the street wearing Google Glass. Someone yelled, Glass! Pulled the device off his face, ran off, and later smashed it. The bulkiness and awkwardness of the device also made it uncomfortable to wear for extended periods. And it didn't take long for the term glass holes to gain popularity among those who are not impressed with the high-tech gadget. Glass holes was simply a derogatory nickname given to anyone seen walking around with the device attached to their face. Apart from this, privacy concerns were also a major factor in Google Glass's failure. Many people were uncomfortable with the idea of being constantly monitored and recorded. And there were concerns that glass wearers could use the device to take pictures and videos without the knowledge or consent of those around them. In some cases, people even felt threatened by glass wearers, and there were reports of bars and other establishments banning the device. The lack of compelling use cases for Google Glass was also another significant problem. Despite its impressive technology, many were left scratching their heads, wondering what the purpose of the device was supposed to be. Even the engineers behind the project couldn't agree on how it should be used. Some believed it was meant to be worn as a stylish accessory at all times, while others argued it should only be used in specific situations. This lack of consensus left consumers confused and ultimately uninterested in the product. And so, it did not come as a surprise when people chose to opt for cheaper gadgets that boasted superior features such as longer battery life, higher resolution cameras, larger storage capacity, and faster processors. In 2015, Google announced that it was discontinuing the consumer version of the product and focusing on enterprise applications instead. This was a recognition of the fact that while it had failed as a consumer device, it was still relevant in the workplace. For example, Google Glass could be used in manufacturing to provide workers with real-time information, or in healthcare to allow doctors to access patient data hands-free. Well, Google has not given up on the idea of augmented reality glasses for the masses, despite the shortcomings of Google Glass. The tech giant seems eager to take another stab at it, and is already working on a new set of smart glasses. The rumors are that these glasses will hit the market in the near future. Could this be Google's chance to redeem itself and learn from its mistakes with Google Glass? Only time will tell if Google will succeed in its mission to revolutionize the smart glasses market.